do not have the space in my lungs to combat these words you have said. My lung tissue is probably dead, but I keep on breathing shallowly. My chest capacity is somehow smaller than the grave that's already been dug for me. This symmetry between the giver of life and my ending is bending time and leading me back to where it all began. I'd say I ran, but lately I've no capacity for breathing heavily, so honestly, I just walked a little quickly, but he followed me. And the words that rolled off his tongue were an opposing symphony. An amalgam of lesbo and gay boy and tranny. I think he was unsure of which type of bigotry would be fitting to shout at me. So he just used a bit of LGB and T and hoped that it would offend me. But seriously, mate, I've heard it all before and seeing as my body is at war with itself, I can't be asked to indulge you. You dickhead. <laughs> my lungs bleed red. More than lungs really should. I cough up blood sometimes, but I see it as worth it. The chest that I have not given from birth is bound once around with a shirt of elastic and flat is fantastic and i'm proud to say i chose the safest option but it's still slowly killing me i can't imagine a world without bigotry because this world's built on prejudice so ingrained it's pretended that trans is something feigned like anyone would choose this i would willingly lose this brothers sisters people for whom this binary system just doesn't fit people who fear and revel in it Walk with me, down that silent street, down every silent street. Walk with me through graveyards filled with incorrect names, through hateful words with hateful aims, through every violent act enacted in hate, through every day, through every fate. Walk with me through those words that came from his mouth on that street, my feet chasing the river's flow away, away from here. My lungs are too small these days to shout these words loud enough that others can hear them. My lungs cannot contain these words beside all the others they need to say. My lungs are beat into submission. My lungs are tattered flags on bone masts, calling on armies that are not yet recruited to save people who are already dead. My lungs need your lungs, need your words, need your hearts. My lungs need you to tell men like him that his prejudice, his hate, his words are not welcome here. My lungs need you to stand up for people like us. Thank you. So I'm gonna do another angry trans poem cause I'm an angry trans and then I'm gonna go away. <laughs> um, this one's called I Am A Man and I, I performed it a while ago at this gig and I had some friends in the front row and there was a woman sitting next to them. And this poem's called I Am A Man, right? And the opening line is I am a man because I'm really bad at titling things. And um, the whole theme is about how I am a man and I did this poem and I finished and the woman turned to my friend and went, oh, she's really good, isn't she? And I was like, how? <laughs> how do you do that? I don't. So this poem's called I Am A Man. I am a man, a touch too short in children's clothes, rows of yellow teeth open like doors into nowhere to correct a pronoun. Or 20. Plenty of mistakes are accidents. Plenty are not. I hold my head bowed in public places, feeling so strongly the gaps and the spaces where parts of my body should be, cos though the man within belongs here, he belongs in fear of the actions of others. Brothers, I stand in fear of you, of the fists you hold beside you, of the fists you hold inside you, of your pistol lips. Issuing words like pistol whips, square words crack and the pretense slips, and I am always falling one syllable at a time. The line is always the same. I'm not a man, they say. I tell a lie, they say. I'm a freak, they say. I should die, they say. Words. 
They never quite leave you. My life is traced in scar tissue along the past. These shrapnel syllables have scorched into my history. The symmetry of my skin is broken by the past within and I cannot begin to name the cause of every wound. But here is birth and here is worth and here is fear and fault and earth and here is girls PE class and gendered groups and bras and pants and shirts with scoops for necklines and here are my fault lines first times rewinds here is self-hatred. I created a hedonistic horror show out of my own torso, tore my skin into cobwebs to capture my demons, bloodied fists in fights about rules and regulations and tried to hide the scars upon my skin. Cause I was born to never win, to never sin, to quietly sit and never sing, never express myself, never search for wealth, never care for health. I was born to be a blank canvas for my parents' failed dreams. And the beauty of it all is I don't care anymore. My fists forget my own face when out of place I erase my morals in a fight for morality. The shattered skin of me is draped on every shaking tree like the breaths I take breaking when no one can hear me. I left my family in the shadow of that skin, in the shadow of the person that could never let them in, in the shadow of the person they can never see the truth within. I left them shouting, pitchforks raised to chase away the man I have become. I left them on a hurricane Tuesday when the weather broke against me like the wrath of a god others told me existed. I left my family without hesitation, without breaking my stride, without breaking my pride, without looking back. Because the lack of regret on their faces would have written my gravestone. I walked alone into the alleyways of life, knife tucked into my pocket to fight for my future. Palms pressed heavy over scar and suture, wishing my mind was as easy to fix as my skin. But sometimes I enter a world of lies, of family and brevity, of lightness and of levity, a world where I can stand as me and burdened by this mask. You see, it sends me down to purgatory and hides my shining soul. But whenever it breaks, is less than whole, I fix it. Because it hides more than me, you see. It hides a bullet shot the moment I was born. Worn smooth from years of probing, it says a word that has never been my name. Thank you.